this is an actual eclipse. I filmed it. There happened to be a lot of haziness in the sky, so it was really easy to film without any glare. And this is an eclipse that's going on. It went to like 85%, right? This is a model eclipse where I have a light on the other side and I'm projecting it and I'm blocking the light with a round object. And I'll show you how that's done in a second, right? So this is an eclipse that was filmed prior to that. And we saw this, what is this? It's locked to position with the sun. This is a lens flare. It's moving around as we move the camera, but this is staying in perfect sync with the sun. Now this was happening though. There was like a 90% eclipse at this time. The reason you don't see it here is just because it's so bright. But if you look with sunglasses, you would see um, that this eclipse is just about that much. But what, what is this eclipse here? And if it was a lens flare, it would be moving around, but it's not. So I say that the sun that we see is not the actual source of the sun. It's a projection. It's like we're seeing a rear projection on our sky screen, just like my, my experiment here. The, the paper towel is the sky screen. And I have the rear projector, which is here. This is the source of the sun. And I'm eclipsing it with a dark body. Now, I don't see that dark body coming in here. I only see the missing sun. I don't see that dark body because there's no light coming off of that dark body. It's just blocking the light. I don't see it. I don't see it exit. And as I and so I did it again with a thinner tissue. And as I bring it in, we see it right here. There's the source. I'm seeing through the sheet. I'm not being blinded by the bright sun. And I'm blocking the source. And that's exactly what we see. And when we compare it to what reality actually showed us, it looks pretty damn close. Right? You're muted. It, it, it just opens your eyes to everything. It makes everything make sense and it makes you question everything.